this might not work for everybody, but this is a system that I have that works really well for me. Under the palm trees. So this is what I carry in my van to work out with. That downward motion of the movement can be really challenging for your body. just Definitely time for a shower. Most importantly, they are biodegradable. Somebody might have seen my cheeks. This is the real game changer. Good morning, everybody. I am currently in the desert and the days have been absolutely beautiful. And the mornings have been the best because they're still a little bit cool. So I thought that this would be a great opportunity to show you guys two things that kind of coincide. A, how I work out out of my van and B, how I shower. A few weeks back, I did a video breaking down um, my expenses over the course of a month. And in that video, I mentioned my Planet Fitness black card and that I just need to get rid of it because I don't use it. And there were a lot of people concerned about that. There were comments saying like, no, you, you still want to use the gym or like, how, how will you shower? You need that to shower. So I'm going to show you how I do all of that without needing access to a gym. <laughs> I do want to mention though that the way that I live in my van is probably different than the way a lot of people live in their van. People do van life many different ways. Their intentions are different, the things that they want to do are different, their builds are different. So this might not work for everybody, but this is a system that I have that works really well for me. I prefer to be on public land, BLM land, wilderness land most of the time. So the last thing that I want to do is pack everything up just to head into town and shower or work out. One of my biggest concerns with moving into the van was not being able to lift anymore. As a lot of you know, fitness and nutrition is what I do. That's my business. So it's a big part of my life. And I used to go to the gym multiple days a week. So I decided when I moved into the van, I was going to make it a priority and make sure that I had things in place to still be successful with staying active and lifting and all that. That is also why I have created something for those of you that need some guidance or help in the fitness and nutrition realm. There's something biting me. Anyway, my one-on-one -on -one coaching isn't available to a large number of people, of course. So I have created something for you guys that includes a bunch of workouts and also 10 of my favorite recipes. You can go ahead and access and purchase that through the link in my description. I'll also probably put it up here. No pressure, but you might enjoy it. When I designed my van build, I wanted to make sure I had a spot that was easy to access for my weights. So I used this lower corner here to stack all my weights. And I made sure that this corner that my weights live was opposite from all of my heavy electrical battery stuff over here on this other corner. I just felt like it was important to kind of try to even that out. So this is what I carry in my van to work out with. I carry a yoga mat, a pair of 20 pound dumbbells, a single 30 pound and a single 40 pound dumbbell. And then I also have a heavy kettlebell. This is probably around 70 pounds. Obviously that set of weights is pretty limited, but I can do a lot with just those few dumbbells. I know that staying active and lifting weights, especially when you're by yourself can be challenging, but one of the things that I just make sure I do is listen to my body and try to have a lot of fun with it. Most of my workouts combine lifting and also a higher heart rate, and that just keeps me from being bored, but also still getting in a pretty good workout and a pretty good pump. For those of you that are working out at home with limited equipment, or if you are on the road like I am, one of the best things that you can do is eccentric movements. So really slowing down the movement and challenging your muscles on the way down of a movement. For example, a squat or a press, really slowing down that downward motion of the movement can be really challenging for your body and it can help with strength and muscle gain. And while I love lifting and this stuff is super fun for me, the thing that really keeps me working out often is that I want to be able to do some really epic hikes and adventures and not be held back by my body. So as long as you know I'm in beautiful places like this and I still go running and I squat and I lift and I get my heart rate up and I challenge my body, when I plan some really awesome treks or summit of 14 -er or whatever I decide to do throughout this year, my body's gonna be capable of doing it.
right, definitely time for a shower. Most of the time when I tell people how I shower, they are like, oh, you should just do this or install this or purchase this thing. And I genuinely love how I shower. I, I don't need anything more than this because it works really well for me. So here's what I do. I start by heating up some water. So this is my shower. It's just a dromedary from MSR. And that is what I shower with. There's cold water in here right now that I'll mix with that hot water and then it'll be a nice temperature. This I hang from this top hinge on my back door, like that. I kind of have to squat, but whatever, it works fine. But this is the real game changer. So this is the Wolfwise shower tent. I'll link all of this stuff below if you guys want to purchase this. I use this for more than just showering. If I have to go dig a hole to poop and there's other people around, I use this. Uh, that's basically all I use it for is showering and pooping. So I also love that it packs up like this because as you guys know, my van's pretty small. So this can just fit into a little area really easily. It's also super easy to set up and super easy to take down. I really struggled taking it down the first few times, but now I understand. So this is a shower tent. Literally just pops up like that. And then I just open it. So easy. It does come with stakes. And I actually used to not care about this because I was like, oh, this is not gonna blow over. But then one time I was going to the bathroom and it almost blew over. And I think somebody might've seen my cheeks. In the back, it has this little opening, and that's what I line up here with my little dromedary. And then I just stake down the corners. I'll show you around in there. And this is my little shower. It's pretty spacious. And I'll just pull this through. When I'm ready, I'll start. As you can tell, I shower outside on the earth. Everything I'm using goes directly into the ground. So I do make sure that I use eco-friendly biodegradable shampoos and conditioners. I'm gonna show you what I use. I do just quickly wanna make it clear that I am not claiming to be the most eco-friendly person ever. I just try to do what I can where it makes sense in my life. And once again, I will link these below. I absolutely love these products and I just gotta restock so I'm pretty excited. But I actually use shampoo bars and conditioner bars. I've tried a few different companies but I've settled on these. Both of these are good for your hair but most importantly, they are biodegradable, so I'm not concerned when I shower like this or like wash my hair in a river or whatever. Also, this is not sponsored. I just genuinely use these. This is what I use and I like them. So obviously in a van, there's not a whole lot of space. So I use this as my towel. This is just a little microfiber towel from MSR and my mom embroidered my name into it, so I'll never lose it. I'm actually really impressed I haven't lost this so far. So I use this for like my everyday towel. Well, I don't shower every day. For the towel I use whenever I shower, but it's also really small and really light. It dries super fast. So it's really nice for backpacking too. Definitely not the type of towel you can walk around in, but it does the job. I believe that is everything. I think I'm gonna take a shower now. When the night comes crawling And I'm all alone For the highway, baby, to please my restless bone. Oh, this is so good. I forgot to mention another reason why shampoo and conditioner bars are a choice of mine is because then I'm just decreasing the number of plastic bottles floating around on this earth. So yeah, that's how I shower. It works great for me. And I do want to answer a few common questions. People usually ask, well, don't your feet get dirty? Yeah, they do, and then I just wash them off when I'm done. I've considered building a little mat with slats in it, but I just haven't gotten around to it and it's not really a priority for me right now. Two, what if it's cold out? Well, the shower tent does kind of act as like a greenhouse. This shower felt really hot. I kind of wish that I had colder water because it really traps the heat and the sun in. So even on cooler days, it's still really nice in there. And on really cold days, I either don't shower, I drive away from the cold if I can, or it just kind of sucks, you know? But then it feels really good after to be all like clean and warm in the van. 
And lastly, what if you run out of water? I don't run out of water. If I did, I would just fill up my drum a little bit more and then hang it back up. The few liters of water that fits in that MSR dromedary works great for me. You can also get larger sizes of them. I zip it up, collapse it like that. Step on the bottom and I flip this top down, curl it under itself. This slips in here. Boom. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching how I managed to work out and shower out in the middle of nowhere. And if anything, hopefully it gave you a few ideas or options for how you can take care of your health and hygiene out in the wilderness living in a van. If you found this helpful, please give this a like and consider subscribing if you are not already subscribed. Akila and I are really excited for next week's video because we are heading away from the desert into the mountains and I want to learn a few new skills, go on some cool hikes, and maybe catch my dinner a few nights. We will see. One last thing before I go, I want to send a huge, huge, huge thank you to all of my patrons. You weren't in this video much. <laughs> Do you have anything you want to add? Obviously she's been very busy with playing and napping and playing and napping. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We will see you next week. When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun